Hi, do you ever have issues with your wrist hurting during yoga or during your weight training? I'm here with a couple of tips to help you out with that. First, let's start with actual proper hand placement during positions like downward facing dog. So when you go into downward facing dog and you spread those fingertips onto the mat, one thing you want to make sure to do is to put all of the pressure into all 10 of your fingers as opposed to pressing more into the palms of your hands because that right there is a little bit too much pressure on the wrist. So from here, I'm going to spread my fingertips, place the weight into all 10 of my fingers, tuck my toes and take it up into downward facing dog. From there, I want to make sure that, that pressure continues to press into all 10 of the fingers, not into the ball of my uh, palm right there. That's one thing that can help a lot of people. Another thing that you can try is to take the end of your mat, roll it up about two to three times to make an elevated surface. Then we're going to place the very bottom of our palm right on top of that elevated surface hang the fingertips off onto the floor, spread them out wide, and again, press into that downward facing dog. Sometimes that elevation of the bottom part of our hands can really help with that as well. Now, if you're doing something more like push-ups, you can use the folded mat or a rolled up towel. Also, I find that a dumbbell or these nifty little perfect push-ups can help to put your wrist into better placement so that it doesn't hurt during plank or push-ups. This is yet another trick you can try. And you don't have to have the perfect push-ups. A dumbbell works just as fine. Another thing you want to try to do is to strengthen the wrist. We're going to do this very simply with a light weight. This is a three pound dumbbell. You don't want to go too heavy on these. Sitting in a chair, on the couch, or right here I'm going to use my leg. I'm going to let that hand fall down and then I'm going to curl it up very slowly. I'm just going to do about 10 to 15 of these just to work on that wrist strength. And then once I get done in this direction, I'm gonna flip my hand over in the other direction and go opposite way. Those are a couple of exercises you can do for wrist strengthening, some wrist curls. You can also take this, hold it a little bit closer down on one end, and you can take it into some rotation there, going back all the way over and then bringing it back. And of course you will want to do both sides so that you stay even. Hopefully if you're experiencing wrist pain during your workout, these tips will help you.